Hi there, y'all. How's it going? I'm Kerr, as my buddy called me. So right here's my first ever really dip video. Now I'm dipping on some, I almost dropped it. Right now I'm dipping on some Red Man Fine Cut Natural. And uh, it's pretty good, I like it. The only thing is that whenever you put it in your lip, as soon as it gets wet, it turns into, it feels like burnt oil in your mouth. So right now I'm on the job site and got some logs cut. I don't know if y'all can see that or not right there. And uh, I just kind of feel like making a video. First ever YouTube video. Uh, I want to talk to y'all about the first time I ever started dipping and how that turned into me dipping fine cut. When I first started dipping, I was in about seventh grade. And started out with Copenhagen Straight. First time I tried it, it was pretty good. It had like a nice minty flavor to it. I don't, I don't know why. For some reason, me, it tastes like Lifesavers. But I like that pretty good. So I started dipping that, but the only thing is that it gave me a massive headache. Then, eventually, I was being a dumbass and brought it to school and got caught with it. So, that hole. This red man fine cut, you gotta move around your lip. You gotta make sure it all stays in the same spot. That's one thing. Whenever you're uh, moving dip around your mouth, until you get a pocket formed like I'm getting mine in. Always use your tongue. If you use your fingers, then it'll just break it up and it'll go around in your mouth. And you'll get floaters in the back of your jaw and you'll probably swallow something throw up. But anyway, back to the story. You know what I'm saying? So, like a dumbass, I brought to school and got caught. So then, I quit because my mama was mad at me. She was yelling at me and everything. So I quit dipping for a little bit. Got two day suspension from school. Then, you know, about sometime last year, last summer, I started chewing. Because I've, I've always seen chewing, I was, I was curious about it. So I started to do some chew, you know, Red Man original. And it was pretty good. I liked it pretty well but first time I ever tried my buddy told me I didn't, my buddy didn't tell me how to do it and I never done chew before so I give me a big old pinch of it and I throw it in my mouth right there and I start chewing on like the whole thing well I'm me you're not supposed to do that and they left this god awful taste in my mouth it tasted like a damn squirrel done shit in my mouth alright so mm. hold on a second and then it left a, this weird like texture of maybe like it's been coated with tar or something in my mouth. I mean, it was horrible. And my buddy was just sitting over there laughing at me. And I was like, what? He was like, you're not supposed to chew on the whole thing. I was like, well, you could have told me. You know, the next day we went fishing. And he, was, he was like, all right, you want me to show you how to chew? And I was like, yeah. So he was like, all right, you get your big old pinch and you put it in your lip. And you leave it there. Until it runs out of flavor, and they start to take a bite out of it. Well, that's not the right way to chew either. All right, but you know, damn it. but you know, that's the way I did it because I didn't know any better way to do it. So I did that for a little bit. Then around the summer, this is about around June. Every, you know what I'm saying, my buddy. Actually, no, it was about in May is when my other buddy, Hunter, taught me how to chew the right way. And the way you chew is you get your big pinch of it and put it in your cheek about right in here, and you leave it there. Then you get your smaller pinch of it, like about that big, and you put it in between your teeth and you chew on that. Then once, you, then once that gets all mulched up and stuff, you just switch it out, you use your tongue, and kind of flip it over to the top of the pile of chew you got in your mouth and bring up another piece from it with your tongue and chew on that. So I started doing that, and I started getting the buzz off of it for the first time, and it felt amazing. And then about a month later in June, I, I wanted to try to dip. My, but I didn't try like the Copenhagen straight like I did before because it always gave me a massive headache whenever I did it. And my buddy had some camel snus, and he told me that it wasn't too bad. It didn't give you too good of a buzz, but it didn't give you a headache. 
So if you're wanting to start dipping, I would suggest doing like, I wouldn't do camel snuffs, that's gay. Brazilian tobacco. But I would do skull snuffs. That's a 100% American tobacco. And uh, it's about the same thing. It's got this real nice peppermint flavor to it too. It's real good. So I tried some of that and it was pretty good. It got sweet. Nice and sweet. It's in pouches. So, yeah, I did that for a little bit. Skull snus. But around $5 a can, that's pretty expensive for that. So then, you know, they stopped giving me a buzz. So I was like, alright, I think I'm ready to move on to the next thing. I didn't want to go to loose dip yet. I still want to keep pouches because I didn't have a pocket formed in my lip yet. So I did, uh, I bought some Skull Extra Mint Pouches. And I put that in, I was buzzing off my ash for a little bit. It was pretty good though, it had a nice mint flavor to it. And then, I had that for a little bit. Then once I felt like I got a pocket formed in my mouth, I decided to go to Skull Long Cut Mint. I wanted to keep the mint flavor going, you know what I'm saying? So I kept the mini flavor going. I got skull long cut and I put that in. I was expecting it to be going all over my mouth, but no, it stayed in that one little spot right there. I liked it pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself. I, I was doing loose dip for the first time in about three years. Three, four years, actually. So, then after I did that for a little bit, I got tired of the minty flavor, and I was like, you know, I wonder if I can do Copenhagen snuff. I always wanted to try Copenhagen snuff, because I remember my dad used to dip that, and whenever he was taking me over to his house, we would ha he would always, whenever he'd drive, he'd put a pinch of it in, and I, I would just smell it, and I'd be like, Ugh. whenever I smelled it, it, was, it smelled so good. But I, I didn't know if I could do fine cut or not yet. But unbeknownst to me, Copenhagen made a dip called Copenhagen Long Cut Original. It's in a brass top with a fiberboard can like Snuff is. So I did, I got a can of that and I tried it and I was like, damn, this is good as hell. Now it was really good. I like the original flavor of the dip. So I did that for a little bit and after a while the original flavor of it kind of wore off. I kind of started getting like a little bit like, and it's getting kind of nasty now, the original flavor. And I want to try a fine cut dip. See if I could do snuff. So the first fine cut dip I did was the Red Man Fine Cut Natural. Because I like the natural flavor. Now I tried that, put a pinch of it in, I was like, dang. I expected it to be going like all around in my mouth. Because actually when I was chewing before, I bought a can of it to see if I could do dip or not. And the dip, it, it went all over my mouth. It was, it was horrible. So I gave that can to my buddy who dipped. And buddy Jacob, he's the buddy, he's my friend that I'm logging with. And uh, so after that, I just kind of gave up on the dip. So then... I want to try dip again, so you know, I, I went through the mint and all that sort of stuff, and long cut. So I bought maybe my second ever can of Red Man Fine Cut Natural. I tried it, and I was like, dang, it's pretty good, it's got a nice flavor to it. It's a different flavor from Copenhagen Long Cut. And it, it was good. I would recommend if you like fine cuts and you ain't never tried it before, I, I would recommend that. And... Put it in, it stayed in the same spot, like I was, I didn't expect it to, but it did. So I had that for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, did that. It was about $2 a can, it was pretty good. Pretty good price for the fine cut natural, I expect natural dips to be expensive. So then I was like, well, I wonder if I can do snuff now. So I dipped Red Man for a little bit. I, th I, th I thought I was ready for snuff, so I'm driving home one night. I just got me a can of snuff. I ain't, I ain't cracked it yet. 
stop at a stop sign, you know, on these old back roads, there ain't no one out, so I figured that'd be a good place to do it. I crack it, open it, smell it, uh, and that just, that smell was just, uh, it was so good. I would pinch that in, starting to drive home. And, uh, well, it like relaxed my whole body. My whole body just about like relaxed and just about went numb. So if you're doing something and you have a can of snuff that you've never tried before, don't don't put it in if you're going to be working or something like that for your first pinch of it, or even driving. I would not recommend doing that. I'd recommend, like, if you're sitting at home, you know, watching TV or something, I'd recommend trying it then to get used to it a little bit. Then you can put it in when you're working and driving and stuff like that. So I did that for a little bit, and, you know, it was amazing. But $5 a can, that, that was just, mm. I didn't know how much I could keep doing that. Especially since my logging slowed down since it was over the summertime, you know, it was hot. No, we weren't logging as much because it was hot, and, you know, you ever logged in, in the summertime. It's just about horrible. Because you're all sweaty and sticky, and you got sawdust going everywhere, and it's in Tennessee, which is where I'm at, it's humid as hell. So I would not recommend logging in the summertime, but back to the story. You know, I did that for a little bit. But $5 a can, I didn't know how much I could keep that up. You know, that was taking away from my gas money stuff, so I just started dipping, you know, red man. But I got tired of going back and buying a can every, like every, just about every day. So I wanted, I, I noticed that Stokers made tubs. All right, now Stokers, they sell these tubs in fine cuts like around 15 bucks for it. So I bought a tub of it. That tub lasted me about <laughs> two months. But it was good. I liked it. It had, it had like a syrupy texture to it. Like when you pinch it and put it in your lip, it has like a syrupy texture. But it's a good dip. I like it. So, no, I did that for a little bit. And eventually I got tired of the flavor. Because, you know, that's usually what happens when you buy a dip in bulk. You get tired of the flavor of it for a little bit. Which, you know, I got stuck with it until the tub was done. And my buddy had the, he bought a can of Copenhagen stuff. Cause, you know, he likes Copenhagen. It's his favorite dip brand. <clears throat> and, uh, he let me try some of it. Cause, you know, I ain't had it in a while and I loved it so good. I tried to pinch up, man. I'm telling you, that, that was like, it was buzzing me off of my booty hole. It was buzzing me something awful. So. You know, I, I was like, you know, I'm not ready for this yet. So I just kept on with the stokers. Then, yeah, I didn't, when the tub ran out, I didn't feel like spending $15 for about another tub. So. You know, I didn't, so I just bought like a couple, three cans of red man. Yeah, that's six bucks right there. That's not too bad. Actually, it wasn't even six bucks. It was around five or something. So that did pretty good. And that's what I'm dipping now. There's that red man. So, you know, that's the end of my story now about how I started dipping and everything. I figure I'm going to get on back to work now. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, I, I ain't figured out a good way to sign out. But... I'm going to work on it. I'm going to figure it out. If y'all got any stories that y'all want me to tell again, just, just ask me in the comment section. All right, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.